In this segment we're going to show you how to put indicators onto your platform. The indicators are found under the navigator section. So we click on the plus sign, gives us a list of all the indicators we have. We're going to move down to the list. First of all, we're going to put on a moving average. You left click, drag it over, and drop it. It gives you all the settings. We're going to just leave this one at the default settings. And there's the indicator. Now we're going to click on the MACD, drag it over, let go of it. We're going to leave it at the default settings. We don't see the MACD bars because they're the same color as the background. So what we're going to do is right click in the chart area, give us the indicator list. We go up to MACD, it highlights it, we're going to edit it. We're going to select the color and we'll then take a look and see what it looks like. So that's what one look uh, is like. Uh, we can change the way that looks. If you want to see a, a different way of looking at it, custom indicators, or just indicators. Move an average, edit. This one is all we're going to do is make the line wider. And you saw it just change. Now we're going to go to the MACD, edit it. It's blue, so we're going to make this line wider and this one wider and you see what it does to the look of the chart. Uh, we're not going to show you how to read these indicators right now, but that's how you put them on. The things that we found in uh, using our indicators in our whole system, these are not necessarily indicators that we use, uh, but we teach you how to identify all the major trends. When a market's really moving, you should be able to get in and make some pips on it. Now we also share with you the best times to trade. So you don't have to be in front of the computer at all times. And then we show you entry and exit signals. That is a really a critical thing. I was talking to a fellow the other day. He was uh, using support and resistance levels and different types of things, kind of guessing which way the market was going. I showed him some ex exit and entrance signals. And he was so excited, he came back the next day and told me that he had, just using the signals I showed him, he had made 100 pips. And so now he's off and running because we had some signals to use. Uh, we show you more signals uh, than just one or two. You need to know signals that teach you when to trade in a trend and signals that show you how to trade in a sideways market. And the thing uh, that we have is a system of all the indicators that we use. It's not just one indicator all the time. We use all of the indicators to show us how to uh, get in and out of trades. Uh, many people don't know when to tell when a major move is coming to an end, uh, so they just keep on trading that direction, thinking it's going to go on forever, and then when it turns, they uh, lose uh, a lot of the money they just made. So we show people how to determine when the major trends are coming to ends, and when you may want to start trading in the other direction, or go start trading another currency pair. Our indicators are such that you can, be, if you become good at them, you can trade any currency pair. You don't have to just try and become good at one currency pair and guess which way it's going. You let the indicators tell you what the market's going to give you. Uh, learn to want what the market wants and you'll have some good trading days. The uh, system is uh, available on our website. Take a look at it and I hope to talk to you later. Bye.